Hello, my name is Thomas Vignon. I am product manager at VMware working on NSX. And today I'm going to talk about our brand new feature, NSX projects and VPCs. And so let's start from a data center. What we've done with NSX, network virtualization associated with compute virtualization, is abstract the physical networking and the physical servers. And so with NSX, you can, from one single place, configure routers connecting to the outside world with network protocols like BGP, OSPF, gateways providing services to the tenants, to the applications, so which can provide things like NAT, firewall, VPN, IDS, IPS, and then of course overlay networking, which allows to uh, create networks without ever touching the physical switches, connect workloads and VMware containers, and then have distributed security on those workloads. And all that is done typically by the NSX Enterprise Administrator, which will manage the platform. Or if you want to have some more specific roles, you have a number of roles like the Security Administrator, or even the Networking Administrator, or even custom roles. And those, this allows to consume the platform from one single place, and at the same time to have distributed enforcement for the better performance. Now, what we want is to have multiple business lines consuming this platform and having direct consumption of NSX so that they can both manage but also monitor and troubleshoot. And those different business lines, they have their own needs, their own applications. But at the same time, for multiple reasons, cost, operation, SLAs, they share the same platform. And so what we introduced in NSX is the ability to create projects. So a project is a context, a tenant, and we can create, for instance, a project for each business line. So let's take two business lines, a business line finance and a business line marketing. So we create project A for finance and project B for marketing. And then when those are created, the enterprise administrator can start to delegate. He can delegate, for instance, to the project A from finance to some project administrators from the finance team. Here is our project administrator from the finance team, which will consume things only within this scope. So this project, the, um, at creation, the, um, the enterprise administrator will allocate some resources to it. So he will allocate some edge clusters. He will allocate some tier zeros so that they can be consumed. He can add some also later. And he will allocate some IPs, IP blocks, which will be the IPs advertised within the data center. And that will allow the project administrator, well, first, to consume the classical NSX constructs, but second, to be able also to create VPCs, NSX VPCs. And those NSX VPCs, they will allow to deploy different applications and to isolate each of them so that we can delegate further to the application owner, to the developer. And so here, our idea is that this is our VPC admin. And this VPC admin can configure things within the VPC. So we will be able to leverage the IP blocks which have been allocated to, to him or her in order to create public subnets. Those public subnets, they would be typically routed to the outside world. Private subnets, which are not advertised outside of the VPC, but which are routed inside the VPC, or isolated subnets. He never has to configure or manage a gateway. He just creates the, the, the subnets, define their type, and can either pick the IPs himself or let the NSX IPAM manage everything for, for him or her. And then um, the, the, project, the VPC administrator can also configure north-south connectivity with north-south firewalling, NAT, in order to allow people to, to reach those workloads if they are not advertised connect his VMs and have east-west security on those with distributed firewall. Those objects and those rules, they are all in the scope of the NSX VPC, which means that there's no overlap, no possibility to impact either other project or things defined by the enterprise administrator himself. And so this uh, VPC, allows to delegate the creation of the application, to put rules, to put networking configuration as close as possible to the application, to give a great flexibility, but at the same time, 
to have multiple users working in parallel without the risk to have overlap between them. And for instance, in our project B marketing, of course, we could have a second VPC, VPCB, and which would have its own VMs, its own IP pools, and its own consumption, and which will be connected like that. And then, if needed, a third one, VPCs. And so, each of them will have their own users. And so this provides great flexibility, allows multiple business lines to work in parallel, allows developers for faster deployment, faster consumption. But at the same time, and that's very important, we keep the governance of the platform for the enterprise administrator. He was the one who defined the different IP blocks going to the different projects and used for the VPCs. He can also allocate quotas at project level or at VPC level, quotas on what people can use, how many objects they can take of the platform. And of course, he can define a platform wide, so on all the NSX system firewall rules, which will be on top of the rules of the VPC. So if he wants to create some security profiles applying first, like provider rules uh, to, 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 to those environments, he can. And then delegate the micro segmentation, the different rules which are very close to the application, very specific to the user who know best, the user of the business line, either the project admin who can create rules within the project or the VPC admin who creates rules within the VPC. And so now, as we've shown, this allows to have several users sharing the same platform, deploying environments with different levels of knowledge from the NSX administrator will go very deep in the networking and security to the VPC administrator who has a consumption streamlined to the one of the public and private cloud. And to um, all that in the goal of deploying application faster, deploying environments faster.